to you with the best facial oils for mature skin for women over 40 top five if you are interested in seeing this video then keep on watching okay so today we are talking about facial oils and why they are beneficial for your skin I have five facial oils that are so great for moisturizing, for fine lines and wrinkles. They are anti-aging oils that you should be using. So let me tell you a little bit of the benefits about using facial oils. Facial oils actually balance your complexion. They improve your skin's texture and tone, the way your skin feels and looks, and just your appearance in general. They actually minimize the looks of fine lines and wrinkles. Having mature skin, a lot of times, nine times out of ten, now there are some exceptions. As we get older, our skin tends to lose oil, tends to get drier, you know, tend to lack collagen. You know, so as we age, we will see differences in our skin. That's why using a facial oil is so beneficial. So without further ado, without me to keep rambling on, I'm going to jump right into the facial oil that I want to talk about is rosehip oil, okay? I have rosehip oil for, by Gold Pure, and I have rosehip oil by The Ordinary, and both of them are 100% pure, um, cold pressed, okay? So they are natural. And I jotted down some notes so I could just really, the important part that I really wanted to share, I wouldn't forget. So, <laughs> oil is very hydrating. It is, it, it moisturizes your skin. It also stimulates collagen and elastic in your skin as well. It also brightens the skin. It has vitamin A and vitamin A is so great for our skin. So it helps to brighten the skin, to make your skin look and feel its best. And it really does. The skin texture, it kind of like stimulates the skin cells, which I love. And I like to get oils that are cold pressed, meaning they do not have any chemicals. They're in its rawest form. So yeah, I like to use it. It just makes a big difference in my skin is one of my favorite oils to use the next oil that I want to talk about is by the ordinary you can buy this from so many other places than just the ordinary it is 100% organic cold pressed Moroccan argan oil okay I use this oil all the time matter of fact well yeah it's over half it's gone from this jar. I love argan oil. Argan oil also boosts the skin elasticity. You know, as we age, we lose that plumpness and that elasticity in our skin. So it actually gives it a little boost. It also contains fatty acids like omega-3, 6, and 9, which is so detriment to your skin as well as your body. So yeah, it has those omega fatty acids in that, which is also wonderful. Boosting um, argan oil can also help with hyperpigmentation and also with the loss of hydration in your skin. So yes, I love argan oil. Yes. Olive oil. You, you can buy olive oil that's specifically made for your facial, like in the little bottle, or you can just use some regular olive oil. I like olive oil in its rawest form, and this is the extra version olive oil, okay? And olive oil is an antioxidant, so what does antioxidants do? They brighten the skin. So yes, love this. Love that it is an antioxidant. It is also rich in vitamins A, D, and K. Okay, which also helps with fine lines and wrinkles. And it's also, they say it's also great, it it's aids in vitamin E. Vitamin E helps to remove marks. If you have skin marks and things like that, or hyperpigmentation on your skin, it helps with that as well. So it keeps the, the moisture into your skin as well. It locks the moisture into your skin. That's what most all of these oils do lock the moisture into your skin and that's what you want as we age our moisture kind of evaporates into the atmosphere but once you apply your oils it locks everything in place and keep that moisture inside of your skin where you need it 
that's very important. I think with olive oil, if you do have oily skin, you might want to stay away from that. Now, you can, most um, oily skin people, you can use oils as well. A jojoba oil is great for oily skin and along with some others, you just have to find the oils that's right for your skin. I have bone dry skin, so thick oils are great for my dry skin. I need it. My skin craves it, okay? And if I do not add an oil to my skin, my skin knows and it kind of lets me know, hey, you for, did you forget something? <laughs> so yes, but olive oil is a great nighttime treatment for your skin as well. I like to use the oils, at, a lot of time the thicker oils at night. So you can apply this on at night and sleep with it and then rinse it off in the morning. That is a skin treatment. Love it. So it's really, olive oil is really great for the skin and it doesn't clog your pores. I've never had an issue with clogged pores ever. Okay, so number four, this is the fourth oil that I love, and it is vitamin E oil. I would try to, all the oils that I have, I would try to find them and put, link them in the description box below with other oils that I just love, okay? So this is a vitamin E oil, and I love vitamin E oil. It's a little thicker. I use vitamin E oil not during the day, Mostly, I use it at night as a nighttime treatment for my skin. I just talked about that a few minutes ago. But vitamin E or it reduces hyperpigmentation in your skin. It actually improves dry skin conditions, which makes this perfect for using at night. Because if you have really dry, itchy, flaky skin, and you apply this on at night after you do your your regimen, and you apply this on at night to seal all that protection. In, your skin in the morning feels so soft, so supple, so hydrated and moisturized. I love vitamin E oil. Love it. Always will use it as a nighttime treatment. So yeah, I like vitamin E. Very great for your skin. And you may not, if you have oily skin again, you may need to check into using um, vitamin E oil because it is a little thicker as well and it could cause you know more breakouts if you have oily skin so yeah just really check and do your research I'm telling you what works for me and my skin I'm 50 years old and I watched my mom and her mom and so forth down the years use these facial oils and I use them as well love it okay last but not least it's not, I do not have it on me right now, but trust me, it is on the way. <laughs> it is on the way because I love this oil. And it is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Oil. I'm going to list it up here so you can see a picture of it. I love this oil. This oil is so good for your skin. It has so many other oils in that oil, and I just love it. My skin craves this oil. I use it with makeup. I use it with like foundations. All of these oils, really, if I need a little extra hydration, I'll put a couple of drops in my foundation and apply it on to make my skin and my makeup look good so yeah let me just tell you a little bit about this palmers that's on the way <laughs> i realized i didn't have this oil to show you and oh my goodness so but i do have some on the way but let me tell you what's in this oil and the benefits of this oil okay so it is the palmers cocoa butter formula moisturizing um skin therapy oil for your face with vitamin e and rose hip in it. But let me tell you, give you the other ingredients in this as well. Okay, it says 10 pure oils and cocoa butter help moisturize and smooth fine lines and wrinkles. It has retinol and vitamin C in this, helps improve and brighten skin tone and texture. And it says it has a complex E in it that delivers essential vitamins and nutrients to the skin. It has sweet almond oil, sesame seed oil, which I am allergic to sesame seeds entirely, and oils, but I guess when I apply it on my skin, I'm not allergic to it, just when I consume it. So, but I was a little sketchy at first about that, but it does nothing to my skin, so that's perfect. Also, it has coconut oil, macadamia nut oil, apricot oil, grapeseed oil, argan oil, rosehip oil, chamomilla oil, and sunflower oil. 
It is hypoallergenic, it's, it's paraben free, and dermatologist tested. Love this oil, one of my favorite all time oils, okay? Love it, love it, love it. And I said I was gonna tear show you how dermatologists actually say you are supposed to apply oils onto your skin. Oils is the last step in your routine, in your skincare routine. I've been doing this for years, but I just wanted to know the proper steps to see if I was doing it correctly, and I was. Then you use your serums, whatever serums you're gonna use, and then you apply your moisturizer and your sunscreen. That is when you come back with your oil. The last step in your routine. You come back and you put Press the oil onto your skin like this. You know, you don't want to rub it all in, but you do want to rub it on your hands and kind of just press it on into your skin in the areas where you need it. And rub lightly, like in the areas, but then make sure you you press it into the skin because that's what you want to do. You want to press it onto your skin, okay? So that is how dermatologists say that you are supposed to apply the oils onto your skin. And trust me, they work wonderful. Oils are essential in my skincare routine. I'm 50 years old. I think my skin looks pretty good for 50, but I want to try to keep it for as long as I can because we will age. And as you age, I just want to look my best as I'm aging, okay? And that's mostly what you guys want to do as well. So anyway, guys, it's been a pleasure to sit here and just talk with you guys today. Thank you so very much for all of my subscribers, my new subscribers. Thank you so very much for just taking time out to watch my video. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Peace and love until next time. Bye. Bye.